What's up, guys? Simone Fan 101 here. The Royal Rumble contest is over. Ballots are up, and I have 20 participants in the contest, which, considering the fact I only had nine days to organize this thing and to get invitations, that's pretty good. Um, I have 20 participants. Uh, the Royal Rumble is going to be on, as of recording this video, in a few hours. I'm going to be watching on a 15-minute delay because I don't watch it on pay-per-view, but a 15-minute delay, that's about as close as live watching it as I'm going to get. So, um, with that said, I will um, do two things here in this video. I will um, make, give my Royal Rumble predictions see, um, to uh, who wins and who loses, and I am first off, and the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to name off the participants in my Royal Rumble contest. And here we go. Number one is Nature Boy 818 Nature, you just might win this contest because number one is Roman Reigns, and there's a chance he's going to win. Number two is a blank spot. Like I said, there was ten spots available. No one entered the contest, so... Yeah, that it, it, it so there's it's just gonna be an empty spot. Number three, seven six nine nine six one nine, who doesn't make audio videos but makes a a lot of has ha makes a lot and has a lot of um review not reviews but like monthly like top matches monthly and then does it yearly and then does certain other lists and stuff. Number four, Prince of Strong style V two. Very good YouTuber. I suggest you check him out. He's uh, young as a YouTuber, so am I, but um, he's still, you know, going up there. Number five is Weapon Alex. Uh, another YouTuber. Does videos like I do. He doesn't do audio. He doesn't do the videos, you know, the slideshow videos. He does it like how I'm doing it. Uh, oh, and keep in mind, guys, the some of these people... Some of these uh, participants, they are not YouTubers in in the sense that we are. They're Ask.fm users, so some of these participants you may not even know, just to get it out of the way. Um, number six is a blank spot. Um, number seven, this is confusing because when we when I was originally doing the bounce, there was confusion with me and Lundrix, um number ballot there was some confusion there so i decided to redraw to make it fair originally i had number 29 and there is a number 29 later i'm so pissed this guy got it um instead i'm number seven i don't expect to get a good wrestler this year <laughs> uh, let's see number eight is pro wrestling odyssey also known as elite squad 101 very good guy. I think he's the youngest you wrestling YouTuber um, that we know. If there is any younger, you know, go ahead and comment section below and tell me. Uh, Voice of Pro Wrestling is number nine. Uh, yeah, at least got one on one was number eight. Yeah, Pro Wrestling Odyssey. Yeah, <laughs> Voice of Pro Wrestling is number nine. Um, very good. Um, he, I think this is the guy who used to do highlight videos, but was constantly getting his videos taken down. So we had to cut back on that. Number 10 is Alex Sims. You know, Ask FM user. You probably don't know him. Number of spots 11 and 12 are just empty slots. Number 13 is Victor. An Ask FM user you don't know. Now here's someone you do know. Number 14 is Mr. Beetle 890. Or, I keep, I, keep, I keep wanting to say Beatlemania, but I'm pretty sure it's Mr. Beetle. Mr. Beetle 890, good YouTuber. Um, only six at WWE and NXT, as far as I'm aware of. And um, and he's got number 14, so hopefully he gets a good wrestler. And number 13, yeah, he, um, just to make sure, Victor, you are you have the first Rumble winner ever, which was Hacksaw Jim Duggan. Um, I don't think anyone's going to come out of there the winner, but okay. Number 15 is an empty slot. Number 16 is Marcus Snowden. Um, Ask.fm user, and if you know him, you know he asks 
questions very, very often, the same questions to other Ask F to all Ask FM um, YouTubers. Not yeah, not YouTubers, um, users. Uh, Ienzo, another Ask FM dot FM user, I should say Ask dot FM, but I just say Ask FM. Who cares? Um, number eight, and I'm, uh, I'm sorry if I pronounce this wrong. Onorub Sedieta, Sedieta. Yeah, I'll go with that. Um, you know, all I I see him around. Um, not not see him around, but I see him like on Ask FM around. Number nineteen is a blank spot. Number twenty is Mark Sanders. Uh, decent Ask FM user. I don't see too much of him, but, you know, that's just me. Number 21, Sherm. Relatively, at least in my, um, searches, relatively new YouTuber who, um, not YouTuber, relatively new Ask FM user. So, uh, you can, you, so for those of the Ask FM users, you can welcome him into, you know, more of the community and, you know, give him someone to talk to. Number 22, Jericholic. Now, Jericholic, you have a good spot here because three people in the past have won number, the Royal Rumble from number number 22, including the game Triple H from 2002. A lot of twos there. I don't know what the hell's going on. Number 23, I can't believe I'm saying this, Six God, and now with an S, with a six, like it's the letter six, and then I, and then X, and then God. <laughs> Gotta give you credit. You have a good name. <laughs> and a good spot. Number 23, who he predicted that Brock Lesnar is going to come out at that spot. Number 24, Michael. Also known as the Wrestling Crisis. So, um, so I don't know whether or not he's a YouTuber, but if he is... I apologize if I used your real name. Number 25, 26, 27, and 28 are all blank spots, which is something surprising, somewhat surprising because those are four numbers from the 20s. It, it, it just shocks me, that's all. But number 29 and 30 were filled up. Number 29, as like I said earlier, kind of pissed me off because... <laughs> Like I said, Lundrick and I, we there was a little bit of confusion in our ballots, so I redid the ballots, and I um, my original number was number twenty nine. Lundrick was originally number ten, but there was a, there was confusion in the ballots, so now Lundrick is number twenty nine. You son of a bitch! I hate your ass. Oh, God. Uh, and number 30, which just recently was taken up, I think this was the second to last person that participated, is Bradley Brown. Congratulations to Bradley Brown. You just might be the winner because Triple H just might come out at number 30. So, um, quick prediction. Quick Royal Rumble predictions. Um, Who I think is going to win all the matches, including the pre-show. The pre-show match is a tag team match between Mark Henry and Jack Swagger. The Dudley Boys, The Ascension, and uh, another team. I forget what they're called. I forget who it is. Um, it's not like, it's not, it's just a makeshift team like Henry and Swagger. Um, but I predict the Dudley Boys to win the match. So they, because there's a fatal four way tag team match in the pre show. The winner of this tag team match will go on to go to, to, uh, to compete in the Royal Rumble. That's the pre show. Opening match, I am i don't know what exactly is opening and ending, but I'm going to predict the opening match will be um, the U.S. Championship match with Alberto Del Rio defending the U.S. title against Callisto. Everyone knows the completely messed up title changes on Monday Night Raw and Friday Night SmackDown a couple weeks ago. Callisto should have stayed U.S. Champion. I mean, it would it would elevate a new star, wouldn't it? It pisses me off that they he dropped it the next night on, on the SmackDown tapings. It was bullcrap. Knowing WWE, I'm going to predict Del Rio to win this match. If Kalisto wins, I'll be happy. 
It's one of those things where I wish I'm wrong, but I know I'm not. So, yeah, I'm Del Rio's gonna retain the U.S. title, probably to lose it to John Cena down the line. Let's let's face it. The next match I'm predicting will be the the WWE Tag Team Title match, which will be the New Day versus the Usos. I'm predicting the New Day to win this one. I I don't see them losing the titles till at least WrestleMania. Because they have held the title since SummerSlam. I don't see the Usos winning it here. I see them losing it at least in a... I see the, the New Day losing the titles in probably a TLC match with the New Day, the Usos, and the Dudley Boys at WrestleMania. That's my prediction for Wrestle, one of the WrestleMania matches. Um, I'm expecting a great match, by the way. A very good to great match. The third match on the card... Or fourth match, including the pre-show. I'm predicting is... Um, I'm going to predict the Divas title match next. Because they've been building this feud up. It was Charlotte and Charlotte defending the Divas championship against Becky Lynch. A few, a few weeks ago, Charlotte officially turned heel on Lynch after quite a while of teasing it. And teasing it, even though she technically already turned heel on us. And a couple weeks ago, it was either last week or two weeks ago. I think it was two weeks ago. Becky Lynch attacked Charlotte on Raw. This was her breakout moment. I'm predicting, and I'm predicting 10 to 13 minutes of time. I'm predicting a, a very good match, considering the talent. I'm predicting Charlotte to retain the title. But if Becky Lynch retains the title, I'll be happy. It's one of those things where I'll be happy either way. As long as they don't give us a bullshit finish. Um, the next match on the card. This is the match I'm looking forward to the most. The last man standing match. With Dean Ambrose defending the Intercontinental Championship against Kevin Owens. I'm expecting a great match. I'm expecting 15 to 20 minutes of an absolute war. Putting Owens and Ambrose in a last man standing match together. It's just perfect. Perfect. Um, and I, I'm I'm really looking forward to it. I it's gonna be the show stealer for me. It, at least that's my that's what I think. Um, the last match on the card obviously is the Royal Rumble match for the WWE Championship, the first time since 1992 since the WWE title is on the line at the Royal Rumble in the Royal Rumble match. And Roman Reigns is coming in number one. He's going to defend the title. I'm expecting several people to um, be in the Rumble match. Obviously, you know, they've been building it up. Brock Lesnar is probably going to tear the house down. Um, I'm ex I'm predicting Triple H to come out at number 30. As far as who's the winner is going to be, um, I'm... It's really a toss-up between Triple H and Roman Reigns. I don't see Lesnar winning it because they're building up a, a Wyatt-Lesnar feud. Um, a, Bray, a, a feud between Bray Wyatt and Brock Lesnar. They built that up. They definitely teased at the end of Raw um, last Monday night. And I'm if I'm a betting man, I'm going to say Triple H wins the championship to screw over Roman Reigns. And Roman Reigns is going to face Triple H at WrestleMania, probably in the main event. And they're gonna f and they and Roman Reigns is gonna win the championship and then have a very long reign, a title reign. Uh, one more prediction for this night. It's not a match, but another prediction I have for this night is it's what's been buzzing around. And a few days ago, AJ Styles, one of the biggest indie stars ever in TNA, Ring of Honor, and recently New Japan, uh, he, and um, very recently and surprisingly enough, the English promote the British promotion RPW. I'm expecting him to make his debut at the Royal Rumble. Whether it's in just the pay-per-view, in some kind of match, or he debuts in the Royal Rumble match, I'm predicting AJ Styles to debut in the Royal Rumble pay-per-view. Uh, I do believe that Styles has wrestled his last match against in the Indies against Zack Sabre Jr. What was an awesome match, by the way. 
and Saber and not Saber. Um, Styles had said te teased being in the Royal Rumble, saying if they had a slot open for him, he would go in and kick everyone's ass. So and if <laughs> if he's in the Royal Rumble match, I'll be so happy because I my H Styles is my favorite wrestler. I'll be so happy if he gets in. So those are my predictions. The um, earlier I did say the contest the participants. I hope everyone has a good time watching the Royal Rumble. I hope to God WWE WWE listen to me. Do not fuck up the Royal Rumble a third year in a row. Do not do that again. So I hope you guys have a good time watching the Royal Rumble, and I I probably will too. If you, even if it is a shitty pay per view, and. I hope you guys have a, just have a, have a blast, and congrats to whoever the winner will be. I'll make a video on that soon. So, um, I'll see you later, guys.